Oh my God. Oh my God. I have missed the rapture. I remember hearing on the radio that preacher preaching something about Jesus coming back and I just brushed it off. I remember going to that service, that service at that church that night and that preacher begging me to come to the altar and I wouldn't go. I brushed it off and said, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it the next day. But now Jesus has come back. They were right all along. The Christians were right all along. Jesus has returned and I'm left here. And now the Antichrist rules. And I'm faced with taking the mark of the beast. Oh my God, what have I done? Please, Lord, save me. Save me. Save me. Save me, Jesus. That's the prayer that people around this world will be praying in just a little while. As soon, as soon as Jesus comes back, there will be pandemonium on the face of this planet. People will not know which way to turn. Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords, has returned to earth. Millions of Christians have been caught up to meet Him in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let that be you. Don't be the one left behind. Don't be with that crowd that thinks that they know everything in the world, that, that, that thinks that there's no God, that there was no creation, that everything just blew up one day and everything happened. Evolution, that we came from monkeys. People actually believe that. Answer me, atheist. Answer me, evolutionist. If that's true, why did I go to the zoo the other day and the monkeys are still monkeys? They're not evolving in the man. Because you can't answer it. Because there is a Creator. Because there is a God. Because Jesus Christ did come to this earth in the flesh and died on the cross for yours and my sin. And He's coming back, a soon coming King. The signs of the time are here. These are the beginning. The judgment has taken place. God's judgments have began here on earth. All around the earth, they are experiencing different weather patterns. They are, excuse me, they are, are, they are experiencing earthquakes. They are experiencing tsunamis. They are experiencing death, destruction on every corner of this earth. Everything is upside down. The earth has, it's like God has took the earth and done a shaking to the earth, trying to get our attention, trying to say, I am God, but you will not listen. And they have turned their back. Even in America, even in America, an earthquake hit Washington, D.C., and they still won't fall to their knees. Irene is headed up the coast, a hurricane. And it don't matter about the category two, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 400 mile wide storm that's going to lumber up the East Coast, flooding all the way up. Because Mayor Bloomberg in New York City said there'll be no prayer at the 9-11 memorial. Because time after time after time, they don't have the guts to stand up and say yes it was because of Islam that the Twin Towers were bombed. Yes, it was Muslims that follow Muhammad's teaching in the Quran that bombed the Twin Towers with aircrafts. It was Muslims. Yes, I'm stereotyping. I'm not politically correct. I'm stereotyping. When I'm in an airport and I see a Muslim male man, I get a little nervous inside. And the first thing I think of is terrorism. When I sit down on an aircraft, traveling, traveling in the skies, and there's an Islamic man, a Muslim man, gets on the airplane, I get a little shaky because the first thing that comes to my mind and my heart is terrorist. And that's the way Americans should be. Don't worry about being politically correct, America. Don't worry about what Washington, D.C. is saying because they're not following the leadership of God. They're not following the leadership of God. God is sending warning after warning after warning after warning to this planet. And man will not listen. They will not wake up. 
Washington, D.C., if they fell to their knees today on this August 26, 2011, and said, God, we will bring you back into our country. We will bring you back into our government. We will bring you back into our schools. God, we repent of our sins. That storm would turn and go out to sea in a heartbeat. We are serving a mighty God. And He has the power, power, power to dissipate any storm. Turn from your wicked ways, America. Turn government officials. Turn and face your mistakes. And say, God, forgive me. Don't be left behind. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up in the morning repenting of your sins. Go to bed at night repenting of your sins. If you don't know Jesus is your personal Savior, if you're afraid right now, God can give you a spirit of peace in your spirit where you won't be afraid. All of these things are happening. Even the lost people know that things are changing. That something is happening. If we could open up the, the heavens right here in this office, if, I could just, if, if God would just roll back the dimension in this office, there's so much evil in this world that the demons around us would scare us to death. Yes, it's a spiritual battle. We are in spiritual warfare. And God is fighting for our lives. He died on Calvary's cross. And all we have to do is say, God, I believe. I believe in You. And You are in control of my life. You are in control of this country. You are in control of our leadership. That's all we have to do. And God will save our land. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know Jesus your personal Savior, say this prayer with me. Say this prayer with me right now. Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins. I believe, Lord Jesus, that You came to this earth in the flesh. I believe that You died on a cross for my sins. And I believe on the third day that You were raised from the dead. Father, come into my heart. Save me right now in Your precious name by Your precious blood. Amen and amen. If you prayed that prayer, please send me a personal message here on YouTube. Let me know that you're listening. Let me know. Let me know that you're listening in, to the, in, in these last days to the Word of God. Don't listen to just any wind of doctrine just going here and going there. But listen to true sound doctrine. Listen to the true Word of God. Jesus is still saving, healing, and delivering right now. Today is the day of salvation. Send me a personal message. God bless you. I love you. This is Pastor Bobby Wright. Pray for me.